All right, so now that we have our, our widget form displayed, um, what I want to do next is create the JavaScript uh, Ajax jQuery code um, to actually submit it to mailer.php. And you can see I moved it up. I moved the widget up by just um, dragging it back here. All right, um, so on the front end, let's do a control U and make sure that jQuery is loaded. All right, so localhost and JS jQuery, so that looks good. All right, so we should be all set. All right, so let's go to our JavaScript folder and then our script file. Now, by default, WordPress uses no conflict mode. Um, so if you're familiar with jQuery, then you probably use this kind of uh, syntax. Um, but where our WordPress site is using no conflict mode, um, instead of the dollar sign, we're going to do uh, lowercase j, uppercase q, okay, so jQuery like that, instead of the dollar sign. All right, so what we want to do is make sure the document's ready. Okay, and when it's ready, uh, we want to run a function. Okay, so um, what I want to do is get the, the contact form by its ID. Okay, so get form. Um, we'll create a variable called form and set that to jQuery and we need the ID of the form I think that it's Ajax contact I just want to double check okay form ID Ajax contact All right, so now we have the form uh, in this form variable. Um, so next, we're going to have a messages div. All right, so variable form messages is going to equal jQuery. And I believe that it's form messages let me just double check that too okay so right here you can see we have a div with the ID of form messages all right so those are our main variables that we need okay so now we're going to create our form handler all right so jQuery form Okay, so this form is coming from here, which is the, the whole uh, contact form. All right, so we're going to say dot submit. So when the, when the form is submitted, we want to run a function, which will take an, an event argument. All right, now uh, we want to stop the browser. Stop browser from uh, submitting the form directly. Okay, so we can do that with event dot prevent default. Okay, so this is just stopping the normal submission of the form uh, because we want to grab it in this in our JavaScript. Uh, so in order to use the form data, we need to serialize it. Okay, serialize data. First of all, let's just see if this is working. Uh, so when we submit the form, let's just do um, console log contact form submitted. All right, so if we go to console in our Chrome tools, let's just reload this and do a send. All right, uh, what's this? Log is not defined. 
event.dispatch. And that's happening because I put console slash log. Okay, we want to do a console dot log. Okay, we'll reload. All right, so you can see now we have contact form submitted. Okay, so everything's good up to this point. I'm going to keep that console log there. Uh, all right, so now we need to serialize the data. So I'm going to create a new variable and call it form data. And I'm going to set that to uh, jQuery form and then dot serialize. Okay. Okay, so that's going to let us. Um, basically send our object um, using Ajax. Okay, so next we'll say submit with Ajax. Okay, so we're gonna use the jQuery Ajax method here. So jQuery uh, dot Ajax. Okay, and then inside of here, we're going to open some curly braces, and we want the type, which is post. All right, and we want the URL, which we'll say jQuery form dot attribute action. Okay, so that the URL is going to get it by the form action, which which is right here. Okay, so basically it's going to the mailer.php file. All right, so let's see. After the URL, we want to send the data. So data is going to be form data. All right. Okay, so after it submits, uh, let's get rid of the semicolon, and we're just going to chain uh, on this this done, which is going to run when it's done, obviously. So I'm going to run a function, a uh, function with a response. Okay, so response. Now I want to make sure that the uh, message has the success class and not the error class. Um, make sure okay so we can do that with jQuery form uh, actually no form messages Remove class error. And then we're going to just add class success. All right. Um, and then we just want to set the message. messages dot text response all right now after that I want to clear the form fields all right so I'm going to grab them by field so jQuery ID name Okay, we're going to set its value to nothing. Let me just make sure that the form has the correct IDs. Okay, so let's see. Input uh, ID name, email, and message. Okay, so let's, I'm just going to copy this. And we want 
want to do this for email as well as message. Okay. Now we want to put uh, what we want if it fails. Okay, so let me see. Right here, we're going to say dot fail. And then inside here, we're going to create a function. Okay, we're going to pass in the data. All right, so basically, we, we want to set the message to have the error class. So we're just going to copy this. And we want to make sure message is error, remove class, success, and add class, error. So let's check and see if we have the, the um, response te text. All right, so we're going to say if data dot response text is not equal to nothing, then I'm just going to set For messages dot text, and we want to fill that with the uh, response text. So data dot response text. All right, and then down here we're going to say else. Then let me just grab this and set that to our own text we'll just say uh, in uh, we'll say an error occurred all right so that should do it uh, for our jQuery um, we want to put a semicolon right here all right so let's test it out um, it's not gonna email the the webmaster yet uh, because we have to do that with PHP um, but we can check and see if our post goes through. So let's save this and go to mailer.php and let's just echo out a post variable. Whoop. So let's say echo post name. Okay, so let's save that. I'm going to reload this and we'll say John Doe uh, something at something.com say hello send and then you can see that it spit out to us John Doe so it's making the post correctly it's it's going to um, through Ajax it's going to mailer.php and it's sending these values so what we can do is in mailer.php we'll create an actual contact form script uh, that will actually email uh, and we'll be able to at, put in the user's um, the user's email name and message okay so we'll do that next